Alright, my name is Nazar, and I'm going to demonstrate our quail habitat here. It's pretty exciting, we put a lot of thought into this, and every little thing has its own function. Now this is the suspended unit, and it's actually on a couple of beams, one here, and one here. And there's pulleys that actually hold it. So this actually moves. And the reason for this is, in the summertime we like to have the shade because they can't get really hot. But when wintertime comes around, there's not much sunlight. So we actually put them out over here where there is no shade. We can actually just do that real quick. Now obviously, there will be a door here, so you can do it without any quails in there and then let them in after. But here it is. And just as easily slides back. And there is a tunnel over here. We have it with two hinges. So it attaches on here quite easily. And this door we can drop down to keep any of these from coming into the tunnel here. All right, now we're gonna demonstrate a little bit with this piece. Well, we got some handles here for the bottom tray. You can pull this completely out. And we recently got this clean, but they already made their mess. This is where they do the do. So you can pull this completely out. You can hose it down, scrub it, do whatever you want. Let it dry, put it back in. And then they're actually walking on this wire right here, like a net. And it's at an angle, turns to turn towards us here. So they actually lay their eggs and they roll down, get caught by this plastic screen. There's a couple already here. Now this is cool because you can actually see if there are any eggs in there. But at the same time, if there's raccoons or any other critter that wants to grab those eggs, they won't be able to reach it. And this is actually attached by two chains, one on this side and one on the other. And if you lift that up, it releases those eggs for you. Go ahead and reach that and then just drop it back down. All right, and over here on the left of the unit, we have the feeder system. Holds about 10 days of food. So you can be away for a while and they'll be all right. And there actually is a flap within here that you can drop down, lift up, adjust the flow of food. And we'll show you inside here what they see. So here we got holes for them to reach into, but if you lift this up, we actually see flaps between there. And this is actually because a lot of times they'll pick through and try to figure out what food they want, what they don't want. And when they fling their beaks around, it actually wastes a lot of food. And we have a wire mesh inside there also that helps in preventing this too. But if any food does come out to prevent waste, then we actually have a tray down here. And you see it's already caught some. Right up here we have it at an angle because we did have it flat in the past, but they would lay eggs and they would get caught over here. But if you actually put an egg there, and it'll just roll, <laughs> just roll right down. <laughs> All right, and there's a light right over there. So when it is dark, you can actually turn it on, see what's going on. But at the same time, when it is cold, you can turn it on for heat for them as well. And this is out of a catalog with some fancy plates, but that's their inspiration. That's the egg they're trying to produce. There's a water source for them. And there's the salad bar for there. You can actually put in some produce, fresh leaves, whatever you like, and they enjoy that quite a lot. There's actually the doorway, and one looks like he's deciding if he wants to go through. There we go. So he's actually coming down the tunnel. Now he's stuck because we have the other door open, or the other door closed. So we're going to open that for them and let them get into this little ground unit. Now the reason they that we have made this is because there are times when they like to dig through the ground kind of like you like to snowboard this is their little hobby so here they are hanging around we got some a nest for them here one on the other side as well for the eggs we got some water for them on the inside and we have this screen as well so this allows light to come through Let's a breeze come through. But when it is nighttime and you want to make it more secure to prevent any animals from attacking them like raccoons, you can go ahead and chain this up and they won't be able to lift that up. But it's just as easy to lift these up. 
and put them back together just to make sure it doesn't fall down and startle them. And on the other side we have basically the same thing. You can lift that up. There's another nest in here. I can lay the rigs. Go ahead and reach in, grab some. They're a bit camera shy. And we also have another feeder system down here if they are inclined to feed their appetite. So there we are. That's our two units. We're very proud of it. Hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy the units.